Okay, we're here with uh, Senator Gerald Neal from Louisville, and uh, he was at the convention last night. We want to get his impressions of uh, how Michelle did and uh, other things that happened last night. Absolutely. So, what did you what did you think about uh, Michelle's performance last night? If you use a baseball analogy, it was a home run, and if you uh, use a football analogy, it was a touchdown. Yeah, <laughs> it was I really great. It. it was very electrifying. You know, the thing that I did, and, and I typically do this, is that um, I didn't settle in on her. What I did was I turned around to the crowd and just uh -huh. because I wanted to catch the expressions of individuals. Uh, some of them that I know personally, and some of them I did not know. And I'm gonna tell you. To observe uh, the reaction, uh, the various uh, responses of the mm -hmm. individuals there was that was a, the real story in that room. Anyway, I do the so. same thing at weddings. Whenever the bride walks down the aisle, yeah. I don't look at the bride. Oh, okay. I always turn and watch okay. the groom watch right. the bride walk <laughs> walk down the aisle. I think yeah. that's where the real story is yeah, in that story. in that moment. So, uh, what are your plans for today, Senator Neal? Well, you know, today, of course, uh, it's a time where we want to get into a position to. Uh, understand uh, what our activities are, and that's why we're caucusing now for sure. that purpose. Um, of course, we got the big speech tonight uh, with Hillary Clinton. Uh -huh. I think it's going to be a very important speech. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, that she will, those who have some reservations, will, will come on board. And, uh, and then, quite frankly, there, there are a number I expect not to. You know, the thing that's really interests me the most about this You thing, expect a number not to? All right, talk to you later. No, no, no. In this delegation, it's, it's, I think it'd be rock solid. But, oh, okay. But, but my, I just want to go on to something else. It's, it's sure. Okay. You know, what, what this race has shown me is that just because you're for women issues does not necessarily and, and mean you're for issues that impact African Americans. Mm. And perhaps, perhaps it's the other way around. I haven't detected that. Now, do, do African Americans have women? Oh, yeah. That's what, no, no, I'm talking about. I know. Yeah. What, what I'm, I'm not talking about African Americans. What, yeah. I, what I'm talking about are, are, are white Hillary Clinton supporters sure. who have reservations about an African American um, becoming president. Now, they'll say there are other issues, or somebody treated Hillary bad or something. Barack Obama didn't treat Hillary bad. Uh, the press, I agree, and I agree that's a double standard out here. I'm a, I'm a Hillary supporter, died in the wool, you uh -huh. see. But I also know that this is not the, this is not the time to play games with uh, the issues that impact us around uh, this country and to put yourself in a position where it becomes uh, embodied in a person as opposed to embodied into the effort to bring about uh, meaningful health care in the country and to bring about uh, uh, real comprehensive energy uh, policies Absolutely. and to bring us out of Iraqi war just befuddles me. It's just an amazing dynamic. So I've been fighting this. I've been, my big issue doing this, this convention has been, well, you know, let me detect, not necessarily in the convention, but beyond, you know, where is race in this issue, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's almost like we're getting ready to determine uh, to a degree how far we've come. And I think it's a reflection of that. Yeah, and do you expect uh, do you expect to be surprised by how far we've come? You know, I study history, I study politics, uh, and I, I think I have a pretty good grasp on it. Uh -huh. I, I have a good idea of where we are. Yeah. Uh, but how it manifests itself is is always a very intriguing thing to me, and a surprising thing to me. And a surprising thing to me this time is that when people are into a, a strong effort and they believe in certain principles, how it gets embodied in this historical problem that, that uh, most of us have because we've lived through history and mm -hmm. accumulate our attitudes and ideas from it, how do we take our mind and break it away from those things that underline some of the things that we, that we think and deal with the issues in present and project us into the future? Well, what I want to do is uh, have Hillary speak tonight. You go and listen to her, and then I'll get your impressions on that. Yeah. Uh, Oh, I think she's going to do fine. I, I oh, have yeah. no reservations. I think she's a professional. Absolutely. She knows what she needs to do. And she knows and what the stakes are. I think she'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, great. Senator Neal, thanks for sitting down and talking with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. All right.